Hi there, in this video I'm going to be finding the sine of the angle between these two vectors right here. So this one and this one. So how do we do this? Well, the formula I'm going to be making use of in this video is going to be the cross between the vectors u and the vector v, the distance or magnitude of this cross, divided by the magnitude of the first vector, u, being multiplied by the, the magnitude or length of the vector v. This will equal the sine of the angle, theta. So let's get started in actually solving this. So let's first find the cross between these two vectors, u and v. We can do that by writing 3, 1, 2, 1, 4, and 3, like this. And you focus on, you cross these two like this. So that would give you 3, then 2 times 4 is 8. So you do subtract 8, then comma, then negative bracket, then you multiply like this. So that would give you 9. Subtract, then you do 2 and 1. I'll give you a 2. And the bracket, comma, now we do these two here. 3 and 4 will give you a 12. Then 1 and 1 will give you subtract 1. And now we just simplify this a bit. That would give, a, give me negative 5, comma. This will give me uh, 8, 7, and negative 7. Then this will be 11. And this is the first part, the cross. Well, actually, it's almost done. We still have to find the magnitude of it. So that finding the magnitude, it's, it's going to be this here squared. That's 25. Then we just do add 7 squared, add 11 squared. All of this is going to be square rooted. That's how you find the magnitude for the numerator right here, this entire thing. So let's erase this and now let's move on to the to finding the magnitude or lengths of the bottom vectors. So u and v. So focusing on u, let's find the magnitude of this following the same thing we just did. So it's going to be 3 squared, add 1 squared, add 2 squared. All of this square rooted. So that's going to give us a 9, add 1, add a 4. So 5 add 9, which is 14, so square root 14 at the bottom here. So let's just, uh, up here, let's write what all the information, actually, we can put it right here, couldn't I? So right here, square root 14, so far. Let's do the, the v vector, find the length of the v vector now. That's going to be the 1 squared, add 4 squared, add 3 squared, square root of all of that, which is going to be, give us a 1, add a 16, add a 9, square root of all of that, which happens to be square root 26. 26. Okay, so now let's give, us some, give ourselves some room, and now let's solve this. This should equal the sine of theta. So if you put this into a calculator, you would get something around 0 0.73. So now let's act, so that's the, the answer of the question. This is the sine of the angle, and that's how you find it. Now, just for fun, let's see what kind of actual angle it is. To do this, we take the sine inverse, or the arc sine, of the value we just found, 0 0.73. So doing that, we get roughly 47, oops, 47 degrees. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. If I went too fast, be sure to notify me. And uh, thank you for watching as usual.